Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group at the Morning Market Stir for Tuesday, February 14th. Ain't no stopping us now, we're on the run. New all-time highs come almost every single day, it seems. Stocks surged once again, records across the board, up half a percent and more. We had the S&P up half a percent, we had the uh, NASDAQ up half a percent, and the Dow futures led the way up three quarters of a percent, solidly, solidly above 20K, that seems like a long time ago. The dollar firmed up, it's up to 101. We had a little bit of an unwind in crude oil, down about a dollar to 53. Uh, $53 a barrel after the bounce last week where it was essentially unchanged and a comeback from last Tuesday. And gold sold off down $10 at 1225 Low this session yesterday was 1220 So after the stock surge, where do things stand here on Tuesday morning? Steady. Steady right now. Up a quarter in the S&P. Down one point in the NASDAQ and unchanged in the Dow futures. Let's look at the stock market. It's come back 30% from a year ago. Uh, those extreme lows that we had last February. So it has been a surge and a half, not just the election, nearly double digits, but 30% off those February lows. Interesting fact now, the S&P is worth $20 trillion. Apple leads the way with a, a market cap of $700 billion. Looking at the markets here right now, I've got crude oil up 40 cents uh, at 53.25, 53.30. A little bit of a bounce in the big picture still stuck between 51 and 54 or 50 and 55 depending on how you look at it 60 still remains the upside target if there's a breakout in the crude market gold's firming up getting back the losses from yesterday right now we're up nine dollars at 1235 so to summarize with about an hour to go before the cash stock market open stocks are steady but not going lower holding on to those gains. It's been a big surge. So far this year, we've got the NDX up 7%. We've got the uh, S&P up 4% and the Dow up 3%. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.